Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. So apparently Mia thinks we still got this coming in the bag. So let's see if right, right. Thank you. She thinks it's over. Can't prove the fucking story of day of murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. I'm thinking about my don't waste time doubting the facts. Soon the fuck was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, what's the fuck fun? Three hours slow. Figure out the reason. Have your proof. Right. Right, right? Can you think of a good reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? I think I can, yes. Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have added someone that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, say the clock was already running still on the day of the world. Have you found evidence to support this play? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court that records that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Stop work. Let's see if pull this one off. Let's see the evidence. That proves the clock was running three hours slow. Well, if you guys remember, he was in happy. They met her. Take that. The victim had just returned home from aboard the day aboard the day of the mur for the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. We at 4 p.m. here, 1 p.m. a.m. there, the next day, the next 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim had to reset. We said her, her clock was returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the apartment it was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Spot? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> That's a what the reaction he could not handle the pressure. Order. Order. Order, I say. Well, this case was so turned out differently than I have than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. Here he's arrested in your dang way, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Rice. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete at the fence. I find the truth. Uh, uh, thank you, Your Honor. This time, this is only from Malice, but the court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry. Oh. What a name, by the way. Not guilty! And with that, this court is adjourned. It turns out Frank Saw was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check out to see whose people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. Apparently, he left Mr. Saw, let himself to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. And murdered the hell out of her. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Ooh, so can't believe we won. Right, good job. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Oh, oh. you found fuck with your, your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen the trial end in such a sad time. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. She's this glad I can imagine how Larry would feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Ah, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good, wait, what? No, what? I mean, uh, bad, bad, 
Bad, bad, Larry. Bad. See in the corner. Larry, you're innocent. This case is closed. But my Cindy, my Cindy, when he's gone, man, gone forever. What am I doing, Bravo? Now, huh. I don't got the ads for the muscles. Larry, she was a uh, skank, cunt, Ho. Many words I could put in there. None of them I would ever use on day on a daily basis or a day basis. Just, just so you know, these are just words. And not to reflect on me. Hopefully no modern modernization. Anyways, nah, uh, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Harry. Yes, you know, I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. I really owe you uh, I won't forget this ever. Uh, let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. Milady. Oh, no, I couldn't. I just can't. Hey, I was the one. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. Present. Present. Wait, wasn't that the evidence that. Actually, I made this one clock for her. Make this clock for her. my money, Larry. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never, or so God, I will beat you from the end to the end of time. Well, I think our work here is done. Now we uh, can treat me to dinner. Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? Oh, okay. I mean, drink a toast to the innocent one. Yeah, can we not? Well, I'm up to it. Well, speaking of Harry, you're saying the part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Or, yes, part at least. If you have to tell me more about it sometime. Over drinks? Oh, oh. You can tell him on me. You guys know I'm not good. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us unless you count the clock you gave me up. I didn't, I didn't know it then, but the clock was soon going to be the center of another incident. And my promise to the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Dun the end. And with that, a brand new episode has been added. Saving the systems. So progress up to this point, please. And what a satisfying tale. Bring.
Bring, bring. A beep. And with that, we will end it here. So thank you all for watching. And we will see what happens on our next case in the next video. Caps off to you, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.